Hey everybody, so this is module two, and it's lesson six homework. Um, so some of you um, said that you might need a little bit of help on this, so make sure you try some of the problems first. Now this is a little bit different than we did. Um, I'm going to go look at their algorithm, and their algorithm has the bigger number on the bottom. So that usually we put the bigger number on top, but it doesn't really matter for multiplication. But our area model for it to match, um, our top number needs to go on top. And I'm going to go, so the 27 is going to go on top because I already wrote the algorithm. So 20 plus 7. And then 30, I'm going to start with the largest place value, and then I'm going to put a 6 right here. So when I do this, I'm going to multiply this 6 times 20, and 6 times 2 is 12, and add my 0. And then 6 times 7 is 42. When I add that up on this top part, I get 162. And then 30 times 20, well, 3 times 2 is 6, and I have two zeros in the problem. And then 30 times 7, 3 times 7 is 21. I have a zero in the problem. When I add those up, I get 810. And then I can just add the numbers. And I go down here, 2 plus 0, 6 plus 1, and 1 plus 8 is 9, 972. So let's do the algorithm and see if it matches up. So I'm going to start with this 6 right here. And so 6 times 7 is 42. I'm going to carry the 4. And then 2 times 6 is 12, plus 4 is 16. I put an X, some of you put a 0. I put an X and a 0 sometimes. And the 6 is done, and the 4 is done. So now I'm going to multiply everything times 3. So 7 times 3 is 21. I'm going to put a 1 down here, carry the 2. And 2 times 3 is 6, and I'm going to add 2 to get 8. I'm going to add those up. And I get 2 and a 7 and a 9. And what happened is, if I line this up correctly, 162 is the same number there, and 810 is the same number there. Like I said, we usually put the larger number on top, but you don't have to. It's however you set up in the algorithm, set up the same way in the uh, area model. Let's do the next one. Oops, I just I tried to move it like I used to move it. And that doesn't work. So let's go um, next slide. All right, so this one is a three digit, and they put the larger number on top. So let's put the 527 on top of our area model. Okay, so 500, we got a 20. Oops, that was a 20. And we got a 7. So let's go 500 here, 20 here, 7 there. And then we have a 36 on the bottom, so let's start with 30 and our 6. Okay. So 6 times 500, 6 times 5 is 30. And then I have two more zeros in the 500, so 3,000. 6 times 20, 6 times 2 is 12, and I add my 0. And then 6 times 7 is 42. Uh, 30 times 500, 3 times 5 is 15, and with the 0 in the 30 and the zeros in the 500, there's three more zeros there, so 15,000. And 30 times 20, 3 times 2 is 6, and two zeros. And 30 times 7 is, 3 times 7 is 200, uh, 21, and add a zero. So when I add these all up, um, I go backwards, so 42 plus 120 is 162. And I have nothing to add to the 3,000, so I just put a 3 in front right there. And then I look at the next one. 210 plus 600 is 810. And I have no thousands to add, so I'm just going to put 15,000 in front of that. This gets a little bit messy if, I don't, if I'm not careful with my numbers. Um, so when I add these up, the 1's 2 plus 0 is 2. The 10's 6 plus 1 is 7. 8 plus 1 is 9, 3 plus 5 is 8, and then I have a 1 left over, 18,972. Um, so when I do the algorithm, I'm going to first multiply by this 6. Let's see if this matches up. 6 times 7 is 42. Carry the 4. 2 times 6 is 12, plus 4 is 16. Carry the 1. 5 times 6 is 30 plus 1 is 31, 
then I'm going to be done with this six and all its remainders. I'm going to put an X or a zero or both. And so I'm going to go seven times three is 21. I'm going to carry the two. And then I'm going to go two times three is six plus two is eight. And then three times five is 15. And look at that, the numbers are the same. When I add them up, two plus zero, uh, one plus six, one plus eight, uh, three plus five, and then a one. Same answer. All right, let's keep going. Make sure that if you're starting to get this, let's uh, pause the video and you try a couple problems and then play it again to see if you got it. So let's let's go to the next slide, next uh, problems. So there's two problems here. So standard algorithm, I'm going to put 649 times 53. So remember, pause it. And it might be a good idea, uh, and some of you we need to talk about just putting this on graph paper so that everything lines up always, because it gets a little bit uh, lengthy. Um, so let's, I'll try and keep mine nice and in line. Um, nine times three, I'm going to work with this three first. Nine times three is 27. Carry my two. Oops, that seven didn't come there. Carry my two. Four times three is 12, plus two is 14. Carry my one. And six times three is 18, plus one is 19. I'm going to cross off that three. And put a zero or an X there. And I'm going to cross off these as well. Five times nine is 45. Carry the four. And then four times five is 20, uh, 20 plus four is 24, carry the two. And six times five is 30, plus the two is 32. When I add it all up, seven, nine, it looks like this is 13, so I'm gonna carry the one. One plus one plus two is four, and then we have a three. And it looks like that's 34,397. All right, let's do two B. 496, and remember to pause this if you're starting to get it. Like, let's try and, and pause it times 53. So when I do this, I'm gonna work with this three first. Six times three is 18, that was a three. I'm gonna carry the one. Nine times three is 27, plus one is 28. Carry the two. And then four times three is 12, um, plus two is 14. Then I'm going to be done with the three, done with its um, the carrying, and so I'm going to put a zero there. Now five times six is thirty. I'm going to carry the three. Nine times five is forty-five plus eight plus three is forty-eight. Carry the four. Four times five is twenty plus four is twenty-four. So let's look what we got. We got an eight. I'm adding these together. We got an 8, we got a 12, carry the 1, we got a 6, oops, that was supposed to be a 6, it's not writing for me. There we go, and a 2. That looks like 26,288. All right, let's keep going. All right, 758 times 46. Remember, pause it, try it. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to go by the six first. Six times eight is 48. Five times six is 30 plus four. So it's 34. And then seven times six is 42 plus three is 45. I'm going to X or put a zero down here. Uh, now it's the 4. So 8 times 4 is 32. Carry the 3. I'm always carrying the 10s. Um, 5 times 4 is 20. Plus 3 is 23. Carry the 2. And 7 times 4 is 28. Plus 2 is 30. Add those together. An 8, a 6, an 8, a 4, and a 3. 34,868. All right, let's look at D. And I think it's about time, if you have not paused it, you should pause it, uh, 529 times 48, and try this on your own, and then come back and see how we did. Um, let's start with the 8. 8 times 9, and some of it, it might just be 
I'm um, remembering facts. So just more practice, the, the more facts we're going to get down. 9 times 7 is seven, 9 times 8 is 72. Carry the 7. 2 times 8 is 16. Plus 7 is 23. Carry the 2. Uh, 5 times 8 is 40. Plus 2 is 42. I'm going to put my X. I'm going to cross this out. I'm going to cross these out. Uh, now I'm working with 4. So 9 times 4 is 36. Carry my 3. Uh, 2 times 4 is 8. Plus 3 is 11. So I'm going to carry a 1. Then 5 times 4 is 20. Plus 1. 21. So it looks like our answer is... There's a 2 there. There's a 9. There's a 3. There's a 5. There's a 2. No carrying. Kind of cool. 25,392. All right, let's keep going. So this one, a word problem. Uh, each of the 25 students in Mr. McDonald's class sold 16 raffle tickets. Each ticket cost $15. How much money did Mr. McDonald's students raise? It looks like we have a few uh, problems here. So 25 st students um, in Mr. McDonald's class sold 16 raffle tickets. Each ticket cost $15. So let's we can do this a few ways. We can multiply this, however, but let's figure out how many raffle tickets first. So 25 students and 16 raffle tickets each. So let's do 25 times 16. So um, this is students. And this is tickets. So 25 times, or 5 times 6 is 30. Carry the 3, and then 2 times 6 is 12, plus 3 is 15. And then I'm going to get rid of the 6, get rid of its remainder, or uh, the carrying. And then I just multiply it by 1, so 25 times 1 is 25. Add them up. I got a 0 here, I got a 0 here, because 5 plus 5, I'm going to carry the 1. So 400 tickets sold. So now I need to figure out how much they made. So now it's 400 tickets times $15. So we got a lot of zeros in this one. So 0 times 5, 0 times 5, and 4 times 5 is 20. So I'll just write it backwards like this. And then I'm going to hold a place, get done with the 5, and then I'm going to multiply 400 times 1. Well, that's just 400, right? So I can fill all that in. Add them together. It looks like it's going to be six thousand. So six thousand uh, dollars they made, they raised. All right, let's go to the next one. One more problem. Now try this one and, I'll, and stop at any point and try it out and see um, if you can do at least the math for it. So Jason buys a car and pays it by installments. Each installment is $567 per month. So that means he's paying $567 a month for his car. Um, after 48 months, Jason owes $1,250. What is the total price? So this is how much is left. Okay, so I'm going to put that. That's left. We're going to add that at the end. Okay, so let's do so 48 months times $567. That's a lot of money. Um, so 567 times 48. I wonder if it, I guess you're trying to figure out how many years 48 months is. 12 months in a year. It's a lot of time to be paying a lot of money, right? All right, let's multiply. 7 times 8. We're going to multiply by the 8 first. So 7 times 8 is 56. One of my favorite problems. Um, carry the 5. 6 times 8 is 48, plus 5. 48 plus 5 is 53. Carry the 5. And then 5 times 8 is 40, plus 5 is 45. And then let's hold a place. So that means I'm just going to move over to the next number. That's why I put that place value there. And I'm going to cross these out so I don't use them inappropriately next time. So I, I'm going to make sure I don't use them. So 7 times 4 is 28. Carry the 2. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 2 is 26, carry the 2. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 2 is 22. Let's add these up. 6, that's 11, so I'm going to carry that over. That's 11, 12, carry that over. And that's 7, 
and that's two. All right, so this is how much he's paid. But we're not done yet because he still owes 1,250. So let's add that on there. Oh, no, I keep hitting this in my hand. It's just right on it. I'll erase those. Let's add those up. This is how much he owes. And so six. There's another six here. There's a four here. There's an eight here. And a two. So... Um, the total price of the vehicle after the installments and still owing to 1250 is 28000 That's expensive. $466 um, is the total price. All right. Now, hopefully, you guys are stopping it and you're checking your work. Uh, and then you're checking against mine. Um, if not, let's make sure we work towards that and come with any questions you guys have. All right. We'll uh, talk to you guys later. Bye.